the reality is that even with the best tools, teams often struggle with bandwidth or DNS expertise. How does Akamai's optional managed service help organizations operationalize these solutions and close the skill gap that they feel? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I think for for teams that that have sort of the uh, the available you know resources on the DNS team, everything that's called out is is very easy from a self service perspective to go remediate. I, I think one of the trends that we've seen uh, for for uh, a lot of security teams is they have more uh, alerts or requests, uh, risks that are being called out than the security team has hours in the day in the day to go remediate. So. You know, as part of our uh, existing business, we help customers uh, with application security, right? If if there's a policy update required for a new zero day, we we participate in in sort of those uh, configuration level exercises. If there's an attack, a DDoS, you know, we have a SOC that helps um, knock down those attacks on behalf of a customer. So we're we're extending that in DNS. If if an organization chooses to have uh, an expert assist them with reducing the the risks that we see around DNS or certificates. Uh, that help would be available to to assist and and sort of co manage things. And how quickly can teams expect to see value after deploying these solutions? And what's the typical rollout path for enterprises with legacy DNS systems? Yes, so it's uh, I, you know typically we we. Uh, we kind of co-manage, you know, the the first day one. Uh, so we often will be on a call synchronously as somebody, you know, you add uh, a cloud provider or a, a DNS provider like Akamai, a scan runs, and usually within ten minutes we're starting to see the results of the uh, the data being populated. So very easy to start. Uh, I think longer term, you know, internal DNS is is typically a, a phase two. That's that's not quite as easy. Uh, getting at that, that that requires a, a bit more work than than public DNS, uh, but that's often deferred to a a subsequent phase. Uh, but that's how we see it. And then from there, it's it's sort of just like anything else, making sure that the workflow uh, is well integrated into the the organization, the SIM connections, the other uh, you know workflow connections are in place. 